Hours upon hours of creating, thousands of hours of experience, insanely high quality videos, and a channel that is a shell of its former self. With nearly 6,000 subscribers within just under two years, Rex proved to everybody that if you work at something really hard, surely with time, you'll meet your goal. Which is why everybody begs the question, what happened to Chompy Rex? It's because he got lazy. And a little more busy too, but mostly lazy. What's going on, peoples? I'm back. I'm back at it again. How long has it been? Like, like, what? Two months? Two and a half months? Something like that? They'll say, Chompy Rex, where have you been? I don't know where I've been, guys. Oh my god. Is the map done? Is Gadaria done? Yes. No, it's, it's, it's not done. It's not done. It's more done, but it's not done. <laughs> and then people will be like, Hey, Chompy Rex. Hey. When's the next video coming out? And then I'll be like, Freelancer, I, I don't know. We have to finish the survival map. I won't play it. Yeah, I want it to be done too. Trust me. I spent way too long on it. I know. I mean, rightfully so. It, it, it's an amazing map so far. Trust me. Mainly because I did think Creative 2.0 would come out in December. That didn't end up happening. So then I started working on the map again, thinking, oh, Creative 2.0 isn't going to come out anytime soon. And now apparently it's coming out in March. And it... <laughs> In March? Are you kidding me? That's like two. M I got two months. I um, guys, I'm yawning. I might just wait. You might have to wait longer. I might just wait for 2.0. I'm be honest. Cause at that point, is it even gonna be worth it? Huh? It, it, like, it, is it really like you know? You know, the map's gonna come out in, in like a month after the map comes out. It's gonna be outdated. It's like, <laughs> it's like, damn. <laughs> anyway, I decided to work on another project for now. Um, survival map is not canceled. Uh, I'm working on a Rex Rail remaster. For all you uh, people who have uh, supported me for the longest time. And it's more of a reboot than a remaster, actually. I, I am not completely sure whether this map will get seasons, um, like the first one. But, um, yeah, I started off with uh, building Dapper District. This is a POI that if you look at in the first map, you, you think, what the hell is that? That looks like, that looks like complete trash. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is what uh, this one looks like. I think in this video, I'm just going to uh, expand the overall terrain um, while I talk about some a few things. I did a poll asking uh, what kind of videos you guys want, and you guys just said, hey, if you build and do a little commentary at the same time, hey, that's a W, right? That's a, that's a W. That so I'm out here like, okay, I'll do that, you know, whatever. So because this is actually a really high up portion of the map, as you can see, like I can go all the way down here. We need to uh, kind of lower it down a little bit, right? So my plan is to bring this road down here. Uh, there's gonna be a turn here. It's gonna go down here uh, to the bottom of this hill. And then it's uh, the road is gonna be overlooking this uh, little meadow right here. And if you, if you remember in the original map, there was uh, some ruins, uh, some ancient ruins. So um, I'm going to uh, add some ruins here. This is a BR map, by the way, I, I don't know if if you're new here, you might have not known that, but yeah, this is a BR map. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great time. First off, though, we need to situate this whole road situation. So uh, let's just build this out here a little bit. I think it'll come out to there. I think that's good. And maybe come out here a little bit. Have this little edge there. And yeah. Oh, it didn't place. My ping just spiked. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, I love this game. I love this game so much. No, I really do though. I, I don't think I'll ever stop playing this game completely. It's a really steep turn, but hey, it doesn't have to be realistic. This is a uh, Fortnite creator map after all. <laughs> so to do this, all you want to do is you want to select it like this. Don't move your camera up or down and just rotate a little bit. Make sure you have a clean edge and everything should be fine. Look at that. Oh god, I just warped under the map. The servers are dying today. Oh, I think I'm gonna make this a little uh, sharper, like that. If you have to resize, you know, don't worry about that. That's fine. And you know, that isn't looking that bad. Uh, we just have this little space to fill in. And uh, by doing this right here. Oop. Hate that bug. That's a thing that happens, unfortunately. Things just like to disappear once you uh, pull out your pickaxe. Now you might be saying, hey, this doesn't look that smooth. You know, you got these little bits right here and there. Well, my friend, uh, it will look smooth, okay? Because we're going to cover it up uh, with these on the side of the road right here. So I'm going to place uh, these on both sides here. I'm pretty sure this is a piece from the 
Chonkers Speedway Gallery, but I'm not exactly sure. In fact, all of these road pieces should be from that gallery. And because that cuts off the road a little bit, I'm going to do that. Just move it a little that way. Now I'm literally just going to freehand it, right? So this uh, could take a little bit of practice. It's not that bad. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to cover up all the little imperfections you did with uh, the curved road here. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue to do this. And I want to talk about a few things. So the whole thing with uh, Funny Creative 2.0, you know, I, I say I want to wait till March to, to you know, uh, use it, right? To, to use it on Gatheria, my upcoming survival map. Go check out the series, uh, by the way. But like, <sighs> I don't know if it's actually going to come out. Like, there have been so many delays for this thing. I'm just convinced it's it's never gonna come out. You know, I, I should just I should just be continuing to make the map like I normally would. Just just, just make it like this. You know, whatever. You know, uh, just place some things down, uh, bippity boppity, and then and then it's done. You know. But I mean, like. <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually, like, we don't know when Creative is going to come out. Uh, first, it was coming out January 90th. Um, I know that's not me being weird and saying January 90th. Like, no, January 90th isn't a day. Nah, Tim Sweeney, uh, CEO of Epic, said it was coming out January 90th. I don't know. Yeah, sometime between January 31st and, like, January 90th, yeah. Kid you not, that's what the dude said. And, um... I don't know, man. January 90th, it, it, it's approaching, and and I don't I don't see no signs of um, Fortnite Creator 2.0. I don't think it's gonna come out. He did say scripting is coming out for uh, for Fortnite Creator 2.0, so that's uh that's pretty cool. That's gonna be coming out for consoles specifically. That's what the dude said. So that's good news, but I think that's also like bad news though. Everyone's hoping 2.0 is gonna be coming to consoles, and like yeah, sure, maybe the scripting will be supported or in, in all that stuff. But like all the fancy stuff you're going to be able to do, like like you know like uh, importing models, making live events that that look cooler than just having the real time clock device countdown, and then a few effects play from the VFX spawner, you know, like make, making cool looking events like that. That I can almost guarantee you is not coming to console. There's just no way on a console you can be able to do that like it's not a thing <laughs> i don't know that's just my opinions on uh creative 2.0 at this point in time i'm actually glad they're taking the time with it because if they weren't it would probably come out trash so yeah, hey that's something what's another fortnite creative thing i can talk about oh this one might trigger some people there's a little warning right here you might get triggered from this one i think battle royale maps are lame now <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just gonna say it like are they the highest quality they've ever been in this game? Yeah, yeah, probably definitely actually they, they def most definitely are the quality of, of the genre has gone up But the creativity of the genre has gone like way down back in the OG BR days when things were like popping off with mini BRs, people love them. They absolutely love them. They still do. They still love them. There's definitely still a community out there for it. But like the new BR maps nowadays, it's like they're not really making their own Fortnite. They're just copying Fortnite. I don't know if this is a bad take or not. I really, I really don't. I, I want to hear your opinions down below in the comments. It just seems like, yeah. The maps are, I guess, technically better, right? Uh, higher quality, like I said. Really, really, really solid maps out there right now. I mean, really, not to knock any of the creators, but the maps are really good. It's just I've seen less and less creativity out of the community. It's been such a long time since I've seen anything completely new. So I'm calling you guys out. Start being original. If you have a wacky idea, if you want to make a biome where it's like chairs, right? Like... <laughs> Bad example, bad example. You find like this barrel, right? Oh my, wow. Wow, I actually just came up with this on the spot. What if there's a nuclear waste biome, right? And you have these barrels everywhere and they're like tipped over and it's like spilling out with ooze and, and all that. And then there's like poison water, which if you step in it, ki slowly kills you and it uses swamp terrain. And then there's a POI in it where it's like a nuclear power plant. Like, I have never seen that before. How have I never seen that before? How has nobody else came up with that? Maybe they have, I don't know. But like, I, it's, it's stuff like that. Like, like if that exists out there somewhere, like, uh, kudos to you, man. Like, like, whoever made that, awesome idea. 
awesome idea. Nobody else has done that. It's just like, it's just like ideas like that, man. I want to see more of that, which I'm not seeing. Oh man, I got really passionate there for a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what I'm doing now, I'm going to make a very long strip of, um, of road surrounded by terrain too, so it's really easy to tilt. And this is a pretty uh, key part too. You want to make sure you have um, the borders around it too. Now I'll add, uh, I'll make these indestructible later on, so, so don't worry about that. Yeah, don't worry if this is like hollow under here, that's what I'm saying. And there we go. We have a really long, uh, just like strip of road we can use now. There we go. That reaches uh, my little marker I put here. But I still feel like that's a little too steep. I'm sure that'll uh, do the job just fine. And again, it's really annoying uh, selecting all these pieces. But you have to do it to make it look good. I'm going to put my flight speed on point one, so I can fine adjust. Um... Looks like I j <laughs> it actually looks like I nailed that. Wow. Now it looks like all I have to do is move this forward a little bit. Not sure you get on the side. Yes, it is. And there we go. Look at that. Now we have a road that is pretty smooth. It connects up here really well. It'll probably be really fun to ride a bike down it. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Watch this. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so good in the map. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be my little marker. This is where I'm going to uh, build out the land a little more. And yeah, this might be the most dangerous road in existence. <laughs> okay, so I built out these cliffs a little more. And now we finally have an kind of enclosed area over here. I mean, this is already looking pretty awesome. There are some ancient ruins um, on the original map. So that means we have to include them on this reboot here, which means we have to use the jungle temple galleries. Now, uh, I'm not using uh, the new ruined fort galleries because that's just not the style I went for on the original. Okay, so in the end, I came up with this kind of design. It has only just occurred to me that I have made an entire temple. I did not make ruins. Like, like, like I said I was. So I'm actually... <laughs> oh man, I'm probably famous uh, for this at this point. I'm going to delete all this and using a sort of similar layout, turn it into actual ruins. So what I'll do is I'll keep all the floor pieces in there and then just uh, build walls and all that around it. And I'm going to go off grid now and randomly tilt these uh, in certain directions. Now I'm going to grab uh, a wall here and yeah, this will work. This is already looking more ruined than, um, than, I don't even, I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. So one thing I'm going to try and do is use these rocks as kind of a way to make it look like these pieces, uh, fell onto the stone and kind of ruined it a little bit. Kind of like that right there. That's perfect. Now, uh, now to end this off, I think some really tall grass in this area is really going to sell the fact that this place is really abandoned. And for the finished result, uh, here we go. I think having these ruined areas like this is just a really great way to have um, some landmarks on the map without taking up too, too much memory. So if you guys are curious, here is the pretty much finished area of uh, the map. I already love this area. This is already miles better than the original map, <laughs> as you can probably tell. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing more content from me, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to support me further, you can use my supporter creator code in the Fortnite item shop. But uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.